Hello Aquarius. Hello, hello. How are you Aquarius? I hope you're doing well today. I love my Aquarius. It's, that's what I am. I'm an Aquarius and you know um, I'm meant to do this right here. My north node is Leo and I got an interesting story to tell y'all today Aquarius. A very interesting one and I'm gonna go in a line how I got all this laid out. So I need to move this out of the way and my tarot reading. That was the last thing that I got out to do for you all was this tarot reading. So I'm going to lay them in a line like this so I can read this to you guys, okay? Let me load up here on top of this. Don't y'all let me forget this, Aquarius, now, okay? But anyway, I appreciate you all, Aquarius. And I love you and I welcome you and I hope I can give you a little bit of clarity today because I know this is going to help somebody out here, you know. I'm good with Aquarius readings. I do know this. So let me pull out what I got. And I'm using my Hermetic cards today. Um, I like using these Hermetic cards because it'll tell you some strange things that people will do to you or what's going on around you. That's why I like them, okay, Aquarius? Go ahead and hit it, hit a little subscribe if you're still watching it, please. And I love y'all, and here I go. So, first thing it pulled out was Eight of Wands upside down, and this is um, uh, Sagittarius energy. And um, this there's a Sagittarius that does not. They're not trustworthy. The Sagittarius that's around your energy, of course, they're not trustworthy. And um, they're wanting to steal from you. They're wanting to steal from you. They want to keep you oppressed. They want to keep you down and out. They That's that's all they want because they're all about violence. They, they, they love violence, this person. And you're somebody who, who does things eloquently and they do not like how you're doing something. And then we got Wheel of Fortune came out. And this is talking about, you know, this is about your good fortune and your happiness. And and this is your destiny and fate. This, this person that is around you does not trust that this is your destiny and fate. And they don't need to really make it any of their damn business because they know that I'm true. And, and that's why that they're having an issue with it. That's why they're having an issue with it. And all they can do is go around and gossip, 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 five of swords. And this is um, somebody who has their Venus in Aquarius. And this is somebody who is a busybody gossip. Okay? There's a lot of gossip going on around you at the moment, Aquarius, or about you. Um, they're resentful of uh, how you're peaceful. You, 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 you know how to bring peace between others, and they resent that about you. They do not like that. Uh, I think they're grieving you, though. I think that they're grieving you, and they're grieving that you're going to gain some money from this um, new venture that you're in, Aquarius, whatever that may be. There's somebody that is uh, jealous of it, and uh, all they can do is go around and gossip about you. But, but, um... Uh, they're wanting to make it, make you think that you, you're not going to receive any wealth, false prosperity. They're making you, they're, they're wanting you to look foolish and not have any money. Queen of Pentacles, upside down. So it's, it's somebody that might be married and, and, uh, they don't like that. They don't like this change it, that you went through. They're undecided of it. But all they can do is sit back and gossip about your ass. And, and what about that? And then we got the blasted tower. So the tower, they're trying to break. They're trying to break this new opportunity for you, Aquarius. And, you know, they're, they got a lot of ambition uh, for you to change this they want to change your total outlook on life. And I can tell you right now, y'all not going to change my outlook. I don't care what y'all do because it's not working. Your all spell work doesn't work too well. They're sending war towards you. They're just wanting to send war towards you. War and destruction and uh, ruin. They want, you, they want you to have a total breakdown. 
They want you to have a breakdown in your beliefs, and it's not happening, and that's why these gossip and busybodies is pissed off. And, um, and, um, maybe you're in an apprenticeship at the moment. Eight of Pentacles came out, you know, and this is Virgo. Maybe you're actually in an apprenticeship with a Virgo. You could be Aquarius. And this is about, um, you, you're getting ready to receive some money in small sums, and maybe this Sagittarius is wanting to steal your wealth. They want to steal your wealth. That's why the cards came out, okay? And, um, you're somebody that, um, can talk about your wisdom. You're somebody who uses your common sense. That's why the high priestess came out. And you're, you know, you're the priestess of the silver star. I like that card, don't you? You're somebody that can see through the veil. And, and these people, they... Like, like, if you're like me, it's like these people is not welcoming me in the spiritual community because I use my common sense and my brain, and and they don't like that. And, and they know I've got a lot of wisdom, that I've went through a lot of shit in my life, and, and they're not, they're wanting to make it look like you don't have any common sense. Now, go ahead and hit a little like and subscribe, Aquarius, because that's the only way I'm going to get around, and I, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all more than you'll ever know, because I, and I love you, and I know that that uh, you all know that I am doing something that I'm supposed to do. So they're trying to break this, any opportunity that comes towards you, but they don't realize that, you know, that you're already in your calling, and they can't stop it. They can't stop it. They want to, but they can't. So don't worry about it, Aquarius. <coughs> Hang on. Let me pick up my cards. And I love how it came out of Aquarius. I love how it came out, Aquarius, and and it's true for you, Aquarius. It's true for some Aquarius that's watching me. You know, this is about your journey. You might be getting ready to go on a, a train or a plane or a car, or you might have to just take, you know, the clothes on your back and get off your ass and move one day, but it's talking about your journey to being an official person. You know, and maybe number 10 and 22 is importance, but I think that this official person is on their way to talk to you. Expect it. Expect that this official person's on their way to talk to you. Whoever this is, it could be someone in military, it could be someone from the courts, it could be that, you know, there's another Aquarius that's official person coming to talk to you, and it's telling you to expect it. To expect that this journey is your journey of you being a divine feminine look there you're a divine feminine you're a mature woman you you know how to act and behave and to lead others and you know you just saying it's telling you to expect expect that you're going to receive high honors number 25 so um you're somebody who people look up to and they see you as high honor and they see you as you're going to be a privileged lady um in whatever job that you're doing, they know that you're going to receive a lot of wealth from it and honors from it because it because it came out your beliefs and you need to look what's in your all second house and the second house belongs to Taurus and finances. You know this is about your beliefs and your values and your resources and you know you you sit and patiently waiting. If you're like me, I'm sitting patiently waiting for resources to come in and. This is about what you want and get in, you know, getting what you need. But your beliefs, you can communicate your beliefs to others, and people doesn't. A lot of people doesn't agree with it, but then people doesn't need to be watching me, you know, or watching these other Aquariuses out here. If 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 they don't believe in the same belief, well, quit watching that person and quit quit analyzing everything that they communicate. That's why Mercury come out, and you know, my Mercury is actually in Aquarius, so. I can talk to y'all this way. I know how to communicate. You know, Aquarius is the I know sign. I know, uh, therefore it must be. You know, that's that's us Aquarius. Uh, we're old souls. We're star seeds. We're meant to help all humanity. So y'all might as well go ahead and help me. Instead of pushing it away and trying not to help me to get around in the spiritual community, you might as well help me because I do know how to communicate. I might do things differently, but that doesn't matter. I mean, ain't everybody in this world different, and that's how you're supposed to be? We're all unique, you know? 
but um, this is about the awareness of many thoughts about or from many words, okay? Uh, this is about your beliefs and what you value and your words. And, you know, that's how you're going to be a privileged lady because you're just trying to help others. And your words is, and maybe you'll explain a little bit more right down here. Then we have spells and alchemy. You know, maybe you're somebody that knows how to alchemize. You know how, how to turn your base motives into, uh, into gold. So, you know, you're somebody that's alchemizing, or it could be that this this uh, person up here that sits back and gossips on you has paid somebody to do uh, spells, put spells on you, but it can't hurt them. It can't hurt you, Aquarius. I the only way it'll hurt you is if you allow it to. So, believe that it can't hurt you. Take your spiritual baths and use lavender every day, and, and it's not going to it's not gonna get to you. I use lavender every day, you all. But someone's sensitive at the moment. Maybe you can pick up an ob object, you know, like if your hands are a blessing, Aquarius, you know, and I've always had good hands. And us Aquarians, we got square hands. Look, can you see how my hand looks square? Uh, and long fingers, see that? We got square hands and we got really long fingers. And, and I've got fingers that's longer than men's, I've noticed a lot. And they're not really fat fingers. I wore a size seven and eight, so I had to tell you, my fingers ain't that big. They look a little chubby right now, but it's that time of month. That's the only reason, but you're somebody that's sensitive and you can pick up on energy, okay? And and this always sensitivity is from your, um, your, your spirit team is cautioning you. They're cautioning you about these people. It's, uh, doing magic on you. I think that's what it's saying because because you're somebody that shines brightly. I love you spirit This comes out on my readings all the time You stand out and you're proud and you don't let nobody bother you it, 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 They can say you're this and that and it's not gonna bother me y'all can say whatever you want That doesn't mean that you're all true because you know, I'm I, I stick proud to my individuality I'm, I'm, I appreciate it I'm thankful for who I am and, and my gifts, and I appreciate you, Spirit Guides, and you teaching me more and more and showing me these uh, some new readers that's helping me better than the other ones. Sometimes y'all need to switch up on readers, and if you're coming here to me and you know, you're know you new to my channel, maybe you needed to listen to something I had to say, okay? Because um, I have different knowledge than other people, and, and you need it just go with it. It's telling you to tune in, connect to your spirit, to your spirit team at the moment. This is about nonverbal communication. You know, you get silent hints. Um, maybe you actually don't hear spirits, but you know, you're you're supposed to use your intuition, and you're someone that gives messages, and the, your guides is giving you messages at the moment. And they're trying to make you. Uh, pay attention and maybe you look to the stars for messages like I do. You know, I love looking at the stars at night. It, it really helps me, you all. But maybe your intuition is your messages are helping people at the moment. You know, you're an angel. And, and you, ha you, you help those in need with no expectation of return. And Spirit loves you for that because, look, you're an angel that helps these addicts. You, you know, you, you, it, this has helped you recognize and confront addictive behavior, you know, and I can tell you, I used to do a lot of things. I used to be addicted to a lot of things, you all, and I was addicted to it. I was addicted to speed and things, and I'm not lying to y'all about it, you know, but um, you, you need to confront those addictive behaviors that you have, but the way you do that, you got to, um, see how this man is pushing against i think he's pushing against his fears he's scared to uh confront these fears that's on the inside of his self or herself you know it can be a woman too they're scared to confront these issues that's down deep in their belly that they're need to confront so they would stop doing you know drugs sex, drugs, porn, rock and roll, whatever you're addicted to out there. The only, you, the only way that you can confront this is by talking to that inner child inside of you. You know that, right? That's the only way you can do it. I'm trying to tell y'all I'm true. Now you better believe me. I'm telling you the truth. 
But so what I think it's saying is your messages is helping uh, people send you as an angel. And you got a lot of addicts. And I might got a lot of addicts connected to my channel, you know. And if I do, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I am trying to help you all. I'm trying to help you to see how uh, ignorant you are. Especially you ones that's got children and you're still doing it. And especially if you got little bitty babies around. I don't agree with you. And, um... You're, and uh, if you got older kids, I don't agree with you. Ones that's teenagers, because they're learning all that bad behavior from you, mommies. Mommies, are you listening? They're learning that all from you, mommies and daddies, you know. And I thank God. I thank, I thank them every day. You know what? I thank my spirit team and God and universe or whoever y'all believe in. I'm telling you who I believe in, though, okay? I thank... I thank God for sh uh, helping me to teach my kids to don't do these things, okay? And yeah, my kids do have a, they're addicted to them vapes, but you know what? I'd rather them be addicted to a damn vape than I would cocaine or Adderall or meth or, or Oxycontin. Let me name everything I've done before. Let's see, cocaine, Adderall, meth. Oxycontin was my favorite. I'm being honest with you. Now, this went back years and years ago. Um, let's see. Uh, in, in, in methadone. I remember getting on methadone after after the oxys. Had to drive over and waste a lot of gas money, you all. Oh, Lord. I can't tell you how much money I've wasted on dope before. And, and buying, it legal from, buying it legal from clinics. Are you listening? And then Suboxone. And, you know, and Suboxone will help. Suboxone will really help people better than that methadone shit because all that methadone does is make you fall asleep, give you an oxy high. Why would you want that? See, uh, Suboxone don't do that. People who's against Suboxone, they're stupid. They're fucking stupid because it has a blocker in it. See, you know what that means, don't you? That means even, that means you could take the whole bottle of a fucking Suboxone, you could take 90 of them and it wouldn't kill you. Are you listening? It won't kill you. It wouldn't. So why would you do that? You know, that's to make you not search for drugs. And hey, I love that. And I and I love this doctor very much from Tennessee. He he's he's on the board of directors, and I I know him well. I know him personally. I know him personally. Me and my husband does, and he's helped us. And I appreciate you so much, doctor. And he goes all around the world trying to make his regular doctors, like your your doctor, like you go to a doctor visit. They're trying to make it legal uh, for them doctors to give it to you, you know, because it's illegal. It's it's legal over in uh, the UK. It is, and this doctor tells me about this. So if you're from the UK and you know what I'm talking about, you can hit a little like and subscribe. I love y'all and I welcome you. Because yeah, we we wish that we could have that here in America, but we don't. We gotta pay for it. We gotta pay at these clinics. We gotta pay them three and six hundred dollars. Are you listening? And then your medicine at the pharmacy, uh, this one pharmacy I used to go to, the medicine was $900, $980. Now, why? Why is that medicine so high? It's all a money scheme. That's all it is. And that doctor we go to, I love him because it ain't a money scheme. It ain't about money. It's about helping. It's about helping to, to let you know that you can function in society. People that has had drug addictions, but you need that medicine. You need that Suboxone. And I hope that you all get on it if you're listening to me, addicts. And it'll cost you money because we live in America. It will cost you money. Anything in, this, anything in America will cost you money, but think about all the money that you blow on cocaine and stuff. Think about that. So, um, yeah, I'm somebody that can talk to y'all about that. And here we got this group of people's in a cult, and they're doing magic on you around the moon cycles, okay? And it's a Pisces. It's a Pisces that's in a cult, and they don't like how you do things. They don't like that you tell your emotions. They don't like things that you tell about in your life, and it's pissing them off, of course. They don't like it. And, <laughs> and this person is going through withdrawals, and if they ain't got their fix, they'll take out their emotions on you, like it, that you did something personally to them. And I don't get that. I don't get this person, whoever it is, because I ain't done nothing to any of you all, but... Whoever this person is, whoever this man is, it's a Pisces, and it says this man wants to give you an STD um, because uh, they want you to be their damn prostitute. So they want they want to put these hairy nuts. It's got uh, 
uh, skank nuts. They want to put their skank nuts in your face, and that's not going to happen over here. So you might as well quit watching me, person. I don't know who you are. And uh, and these other Koreans, they don't want you if you got STDs and you screw prostitutes. They don't want you, okay, Pisces? Let's go ahead and hit a little like, subscribe if this rings any truth. And I'll tell you right now, they some this man or woman has experienced an untimely death, and now they're still floating around. They somebody around some spirit spirit guide of yours that's died early is trying to help you uh stay away from this person and but you know because you're the goat you're the greatest of all time you're an angel it doesn't say you're an angel you don't even get payment from these people and they still watch you every day and they're trying to put spells on you now and i'm telling you the truth because the truth sword come out now listen now so the, it, this is a page of wands. This is a young uh, somebody that's younger than you, and Sagittarius come out up there. So it could be a Sagittarius that's in this group too. They want to bring you some action. You know, they're Action Jackson. They want to bring you some dick. They want to give you their dick and their hairy nuts. That's got uh, their hairy nuts has got uh, some gross on their balls. And look, they're alchemizing. Look. See it? See them doing magic? That's the, that's them practicing their magic. Look, candles, candles without casing, magic spells. See, I told you, I told you they're doing spells on you, and, and that's why you might be feeling sensitive at the moment. It's it's because of them. So you need to go take your spiritual bath in a minute and use your lavender and your salt. Like I told you, pink salt. So it can't get to you, but they want you to, they're, they're doing this to make it feel like you have another way to go, another choice, but don't fall for it, don't fall for it. Because there are, uh, the, the tower, they're trying to cause a tower in your life, they're wanting you to come towards them. They're, now they're, they're doing magic for you to come towards them. They're wanting you to, to have total destruction and loss and get away from this king of swords. You know, and this King of Swords is somebody that um, is someone who is very logical. You know, this is your energy, Aquarius, so this could be you. They're, they're trying to break anything that you have, Aquarius, uh, man, man out here. But it can be women still, you know. But uh, they don't like that you do things logically and you use your smart mind and you're a leader. They don't like it, and that's, and I, that's the truth, what I just told you. The truth sword come out. Ace of Swords. Yeah, they, they don't like that people is listening to you at the moment. Okay? So all I know is people, you're you're not bothering me. You can do your spells and your spells ain't working because I know how to send your spell shit back. And let me see right now. Spirit. Only honest answers. Um, yes is up and down, you all. Yes is up and down, and circle is no, okay? Spirit, is this person in a cult doing magic on us? Only only honest answers on Aquarius. Yeah, I see it going back and forth. Yeah, they are. Could you clear that? Okay, it's clearing it. Spirit, is this person a Sagittarius? Yes, look, yes, yes. You're getting told on Sagittarius. Could you clear that? Is this is this person that's in a court, is it's a Pisces helping them, a Pisces man? Yes, yes. So look, you got a Pisces and a Sagittarius that's in a court doing shit to you, Aquarius. So I hope this helps you out there today because uh, they think that they can get to you, but... But don't let them get to you. And I love you, Quartz. And I'm going to leave it short like this because i got to get my reading uploaded. And peace. And I love you. Thank you. Come back. I hope I helped somebody today.